I can talk again and sing again. I'm completely healed. Last week, my wife and I went to the vocal specialist uh, one last time for my final scope, and we received a great report. I'm going to let you see some of the footage of that in just a second. Uh, but I just wanted to take a moment and just personally thank every one of you that have prayed for me. God has done a great thing. He's, he's completely healed me. I still have some strength and stamina issues. Uh, I'm going to need some therapy and, and some exercise to get me back to 100%, and I hope to be 100% by June. Uh, you could pray with me about that. Uh, but I'm on the right track. Uh, I'm healed, and, uh, and I'm just so thankful for what the Lord has done. I also wanted to give you an update on the 50K Challenge. Many of you know for the last month and a half we've been trusting the Lord to raise $50,000 for the ministry. So far we've raised $17,000. And again, I want to thank every one of you that have given uh, during this time. We're still trusting the Lord for another $33,000 to get to the 50K mark. So uh, just, just pray. Just asking you to continue to pray and stand with us and see if the Lord wouldn't have you uh, to give a gift toward the ministry during this time to help us to reach our goals. So again, thank you uh, for the encouragement, the prayers, the support, everything, and I hope you enjoy the video footage of our trip to the doctor's office. God bless you. Hello there. We are officially on our way to the doctor's to get another scope to see how Derek's scope for us has been healing. So let's see how, uh, see how the champ's doing over here. How you doing there? Feeling pretty good? Uh, other than Harry, you doing good there? My Nazarite husband. Okay. Anyway, hey, we thank you all so much for praying for us. And even now, I know there's people praying right now. Um, so thank you so much. And we're looking forward to seeing what God's done. So, until later, ta ta. Well, here it is. This is where it all happens the house of the scope. Right, Daddy? He can hardly wait to get in there and have that thing go in there. So, off we go. How's it feeling there, now that you're numbed up? Okay. I'm talking. And, uh, it's my whole nose and nasal cavity and even my tongue and my throat are all numb. <laughs> Everything feels heavy. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard to swallow. And, uh, I know I don't need to swallow, but the fact that it's really hard to do that. It is pretty awkward. There we go. You recording that? We are. Alright. I gotta stand up here. Alrighty then. Should put it on this side. Just tell me if I'm in your way. Oops, I don't know. Well, you know, you can look away, but overall, it's a pretty riveting. Uh, I don't know, babe. I've got the screen here. It might throw some people out, but uh, Alright, babe, you can talk now. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm, I'm very thankful. You know, I mean, I, I can't help but just feel right now like 
it's all the prayers and the you know God had to answer all those prayers. <laughs> you know, it was totally. She said totally healed. I mean, I've got some stuff, issues, but yeah, I'm very thankful. Yeah. It's funny the thoughts that go through your head when you're uh, when you're silent with a ruptured vocal cord for six weeks. It's like, okay, I can. What can what can a guy do who can't talk? Like, yeah. you could learn sign language and be a interpreter. Yeah, I could. I could. Uh, I could be one of the guys at the st- like who shoots the starting gun off at a marathon. True. Because I don't have to say anything; you just shoot the gun. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Be one of those uh, rude uh, cashiers at one of those you know, urban gas stations with the plexiglass, and they never say anything anyway. They just take your money. <laughs> right. Yeah, do that. Well, hey, this is all in vain, because God has come through. It was a completely healthy vocal cord, and we can still do what we do. Yes. <laughs> and we shall. And we shall. And we will. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Now, personally, I'm thinking this calls for some celebration of some sort. I'm thinking donuts or vanilla cappuccinos. No, wait a second. <laughs> wait. She thinks of donuts all the time on any occasion, <laughs> not just special occasions. I mean, we're talking like get up in the morning. Hey, I got up. I'm thinking donuts. Uh, she uh, she makes dinner. Uh, successfully. Uh, hey, this is cause for celebration. I'm thinking <laughs> trip to the donut place. <laughs> uh, go figure. You know, Krispy Kreme just shut down on Jefferson Road. I tried my best to keep in business. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I love anyway, you, honey. Love you, too. All right. Celebrating, huh? Yeah. Sure. Derek's better, so I get donuts. <laughs> That's funny. She also celebrated yesterday when Esther combed her hair. And then the day before that, she celebrated when the dishwasher worked. And the day before that, she celebrated when the front door opened. <laughs> Cheers to Derek! <laughs> She's pregnant. Hey James, what you got in your hand there? Well, this is dinner. I ate the first <laughs> round for lunch. We know what it is. It's See? a celebration. <laughs> so, that's right. These are celebratory donuts. Yet another man who knows how to celebrate. That's right, we're so excited. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! I'm so happy! This is James, he's my right hand dude guy. I'm trying to get you out of the dark here, baby. Six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, um, thanks he's celebrating. Thank you, thanks, sir! Thank you, celebrating. Thank you, thanks, sir! Thank you, celebrating. Thank you, thanks, sir!